Hey guys, welcome to part one of the Growing School Culture with a Growth Mindset series, Changing Language in the Environment. A quick do now will appear in a few seconds. Please complete it and I'll see you back in a few minutes. Welcome back. We'll discuss the ideas in the do now in just a few minutes. First, I want to introduce you to Dr. Carol Dweck, a professor from Stanford University who has dedicated over 30 years to the causes and effects of how people's beliefs determine their success. Are you starting to see a connection to the quiz? She developed the growth mindset theory. You might've heard it mentioned before. It has thrived in many communities, schools, businesses, athletics, etc. So what does the growth mindset theory entail? According to Carol Dweck in the growth mindset, people believe that their most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Students need to try new strategies and seek input from others when they're stuck. It is a theory that acknowledges and celebrates effort and time over the outcome. It preaches that if you continue to put forth time and effort, you can excel in anything, but you must believe. In a fixed mindset, people believe their basic qualities, like their intelligence or talent, are simply fixed traits. They believe their time documenting their intelligence or talent instead of developing them. They also believe that talent alone creates success without effort. Head over to the tab with your quiz results. After listening to the definitions of the fixed and growth mindset, how do you feel about your results? Do you feel like the results correctly identified you? Answer the questions in a reflected response. So how do you shift your thoughts to a growth mindset? And if you did discover you have a growth mindset, how do you share the wealth? Let's examine this theory a bit more from another extraordinary author. Meet Malcolm Gladwell. He believes in the idea of 10,000 hours. I know, that's a lot of time. But if we put 10,000 hours into anything, we can learn. This equates to Dweck's growth mindset. Just because we might not initially be good at something does not mean that we are forever doomed. Think of the one thing you wish you could always try. How many times have you said, I can't? This simply means I completely admit not trying. Next time you say, I can't, add yet to the end of the sentence. You just need to practice, seek information, and never give up. Eventually, it will become second nature. Because as you learn, your mind is stimulated. Neurons are rapidly firing, your brain is growing. The more you do, the better you get. The better you get, the less your neurons fire because it becomes something you have learned and you have to think less about it. It's that simple, earn your hours, and make your way to, I did it. Understanding this process and learning that you can grow your brain in any topic is a growth mindset. One way to help yourself and others shift a growth mindset is to focus on hard work and effort, not the outcome. In our language, if our language focuses on completing work and effort, it is a growth mindset working towards 10,000 hours. If it focuses on being good at something or smart at something, it is fixed. The language has no room for growth. Over the next few weeks, you will complete a field study. Listen to the things people say within the school setting and school activities. Record the content in the Google form. First, the date and the comment. Then decide if it is a growth or a fixed mindset. Record the environment, the role of the speaker. This might be a little tricky. Are they a student leading a group of other students in an activity? Is it a child playing a board game with their parent or sibling? Are they winning or losing? Record the impact of the comment. How did people react to the comment? The day before we meet, record a fl flip grid to discuss your findings. Base your answers on one person. What role does the person play in your life? What type of mindset do they have? How do your comments influence you? How can you help the person change their language to help promote a growth mindset? If they use growth mindset language, how can you mimic that language to promote a growth mindset in other environments? So stay tuned for part two, how mistakes become successes. Ta-ta for now.